almost three o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. I got a phone call. I took the phone. I thought somebody is seriously ill over a sick call. So as I come to the center, I could feel, see the water. And he's piling up in front of the top of the marker. At the same time, I could also hear the water is falling somewhere. I checked all the church, I couldn't find anywhere. Then I could feel that something happening in the servant hall. So we both, Steve and myself, we went into what you call the servant hall. Then I saw the water coming out. So that's the time I phoned at five o'clock. It was 3.30 in the morning. Um, first, then he cut off my phone call. <laughs> <laughs> then he took, second time I phoned me too, because I didn't know. Why is Father Joseph calling me at 3.30 in the morning? There's a leak. There's a water flow in the church. So he came in and we phoned the, what do you call it, AC company. And they were there within half an hour, I think. No, I was, <laughs> no, I, I didn't know exactly what to do and where to stop and things like that. I was confused, like. I looked at it and thought, what do I do? But the damage had been done. Our insurer would tell us had been ruined, but the pews had been spared. So the insurance company said, we need a whole new floor in the church. So, two months later, after all that happened at the end of January, today, that project began. The pews in the church have started to be removed. We're going to tear up the floor and start laying down the new floor. Stay tuned guys, there will be more information to follow and I'll keep you uh, up to date on what's going on with this new project. God bless.